JD, how are you doing guys? Just a quick review on the Flashboard Screamer, as you can see in the background. Mm. So, just take the lid off, because we don't need the lid, really, honestly. Um, so, what we've got is we've got a all plastic build. It is, it is pretty plastic, but that doesn't really affect the, um, affect the prints or anything. It looks pretty nice, which is, you know, as you can see. It's a pretty tidy looking printer. Um, it has got a build volume of 230 by 150 by 140. It's dual extrusion, which is also good. I have upgraded mine to a uh, all metal hot end by Micro Swiss, which I must say is a great improvement as of what the older extruders had, which was the uh, PTFE tubing in. So you can hit those higher temperatures for more exotic filament, i.e. nylon and stuff like that. Um, it is. It has got a uh, 3.5 touchscreen. As I do, as I just power it on now, as you can have a listen to the start of two. As you can hear, such a sweet tune. Um, this is some of the stuff that I print on this machine. This is the OpenRC F1 car by Daniel Noy, which, yeah, it's such a lovely build to be printing. You know, nice, it's no complications really involved. Pretty straightforward, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty printed quite well. Please ignore the green clips. I just haven't got around to printing any um, other colour clips yet. If I just grab you and we have a look at the printer, you're going to have a good look in depth. Okay, here we go guys. As you can see, we've got our print settings at the front here, which we've got print from external SD card and an internal SD card. As you can see, the internal SD card works with inside the actual printer itself. And then you've got the external one also. Ooh, there goes the dog. Click clocking away. And as you come around the side here, you can see the external SD card, which is just there. You've got a USB, USB slot there. You've got the reset button there, on and off switch, and your normal cow lead. So, as you can see inside the printer, it does hold two 500 grams of uh, uh, of a spool, but I have up, I upgraded mine and printed off a universal spool holder from Thingiverse. As you can see, it now holds the one kilo filament. It has got two big fans at the back there, which come on to keep the inside of the chamber nice and cool. As you can see, and we go back to the preheat settings. Look, as you can see, preheat settings there. You know, fully changeable. You can adjust what you need it to be, which is quite nice. If I get back to zero now, there you go. And your tools, which you know, you've got your filament unload and load, you've got your build build leveling, home or axes, manual controls for the build plate, all your settings for your Wi-Fi, languages, resets, uh what else have we got about the about and we've got inside temperatures of the chamber. So if we just come around the back, as you can see, you've got the fans, which are pretty good. And you've got an external spool holder on the back, which I also printed from Fingerverse. It is pretty dusty in here, guys. I do apologise. I haven't had time to clean it, as you can see. Ugh. Yeah, I think I think that's about it really for that. Um, if you like if you like if you like my videos, please subscribe and like to my channel for more future videos. And I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Have a great day.